Good day, students. Welcome to Great and Science. I am your teacher, Sir Raymond Balansay. Today's lesson is the distribution of active volcanoes, earthquake epicenters, and major mountain belts. At the end of this lesson, you will be able to describe the distribution of active volcanoes, earthquake epicenters, and major mountain belts. Earth's lithosphere is broken into several tectonic plates, or segments of Earth's crust that are extremely in slow motion. Most volcanoes can be found in areas where tectonic plates are located. Some geologists estimate the number of active and extinct volcanoes to be 100,000 all in all. Volcanoes are openings or cracks in the Earth's surface that allow molten magma or other material to escape from the mantle beneath. Volcanoes are most well known for releasing lava, but they may also release volcanic ashes, rocks, and gases. Distribution of Volcanoes The Earth's active volcanoes are located in specific areas, including around the edge of the Pacific Ocean, down the center of the Atlantic Ocean, in southern Europe, and down the east coast of Africa. The reason for this distribution is that they are located on or near tectonic plate boundaries, specifically destructive and constructive boundaries. There are a few exemptions in the middle of the Pacific Ocean, noticeably on the islands of Hawaii. These volcanoes are caused by hotspots. The east coast of Africa is also not a plate boundary, but rather a plate, African plate, ripping itself in half creating a reef valley lined with volcanoes. Ring of Fire this is a name commonly given to an area around the Pacific Ocean. It gets its name because it has the biggest concentration of volcanoes. Hotspots These are volcanoes that are not found on plate boundaries. The most common explanation is the mantle plum theory. This is when hot magma melts to crust above and escapes. Because tectonic plates are constantly moving, but mantle plums stay stationary, they normally create a chain of volcanoes, example, the islands of Hawaii. Here are some facts about volcanoes. Volcanoes occur in long, narrow bands. Many volcanoes are found around the Pacific Ocean, example, Pacific Ring of Fire. There is a line of volcanoes running down the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. There are no volcanoes in Australia. Volcanoes are found both on the land and in the sea. Volcanoes are also found at constructive and destructive boundaries. Nearly all the volcanoes on the land are sited close to the oceans. Most volcanoes are found near mid-ocean reaches and subduction zones. This explains why the map of volcanoes on Earth matches so well with the map of tectonic plates. On the other hand, some volcanoes are located in remote places like in the middle of the Pacific plate like the Hawaii, thousands of kilometers away from the nearest plate boundary. This kind of volcano is very special. It is the consequence of a hot spot. A hot spot is a mantle plum seemingly coming from the outer core of our planet. It is a flow of hot and less dense material that crosses the solid mantle and breaks through the crust. A good example is the Hawaiian Emperor Seamount Chain, a chain of ancient volcanoes created by the hotspot currently below Hawaii, which stretches over 5,800 kilometers from Hawaii to Russia. And that concludes our discussions to today's lesson. Watch out for our next video lesson. Class dismissed. Thank you and mabuhay.